realization of his achievements on the local, national, and international stages, and in the abiding law of his native county, that we are here tonight to honor the 2023 of the Person of the Year Award recipient. Our award winner was born in the county hospital of Hollywood Moore on the 1st of October 1960, along with his twin sister Barbara. Barbara and he are the youngest of 11 children born to the late Eddie Joe Dewey, originally from Lee Bay, and Peter Taylor to Ron. Two children, Katie and Patty, died in infancy, and his sister Theresa Malai passed away on the 2nd of April 2019. He lives in the tenters on the edge of Dublin's historic liberties, where, while his sister Mary lives in Manchester. The rest of the family live in Offaly, Eamon, Anne, Katie, Lily, Barbara, and Josie, and they, all, they are all deeply rooted in the local community. His late father served as a member of Offaly County Council for over four decades and the former winner of the Alpine Person of the Year Award. As such, a small piece of history has been recorded here tonight as the 2023 Alpine Person of the Year Award has been presented to the son of the former recipient. The only time this has happened in the awards 35 years in existence. Our award winner's father served as chairman of Alpine County Council and was caught here up when the chain of office was inaugurated and the current motto, Esso Fidelis, and the flag were introduced. His mother died in November 1961, leaving his father and his daughters to rear the English children. The 2023 Office Person of the Year was educated at St. Mary's Boys National School for Band and St. Sarah's Secondary School. He was among the small group who enrolled in the first communications course in the College of Commerce, Rat Lines. After the leaving cert, he took part in the NAMCO career placement program run after Band Vocation School by the then principal, Sean McCann. Sean secured him a placement in the Midland Tribune Board. It marked the beginning of a long association with the Midland and Tullamore Tribune and a close and professional friendship with David Pitt, who sadly died aged 64, last month in Canada, and of course with the late Jeff Oakley and his wife Dorothy. Each summer, during the three-year course, he worked in the Tullamore Tribune. On graduating in 1981, he and his friend John O'Callaghan, who had started studying the journalism course, were invited as reporters our award winner in Tullamore and John in Moore. When the Tribune Group acquired the Roscommon Champion, he was appointed editor, where he served for three years, developing a newspaper which had gone into receivership. Eddie Cunningham from Tara encouraged him to apply for a job as sub editor with the Irish Independent, which he secured. After a decade there, he decided to apply for the post of Irish Organiser of the National Union of Journalists and was subsequently appointed Irish Secretary. He holds the post of Assistant General Secretary, the second highest position in the Union, and represents the NUJ across Ireland and the UK and internationally. As Irish Secretary, he was the spokesperson for the NUJ and was very prominent over the past 12 months during the various controversies at the National Broadcaster, RTE. He is the longest serving member of the Executive Council of the Irish Congress of Trade Unions <coughs> and is the leading negotiator for the NUJ in Ireland. He has been the spokesperson for the NUJ and the wider trade union movement on RTE. The 2023 RTE Person of the Year served on the steering committee which established the first press council of Ireland and was instrumental in campaigning for the future of media commission in 2013. He hosted the International Federation of Journalists World Congress in Dublin on behalf of the NUJ. On that occasion, at his insistence, President Michael D. Higgins was presented with a piece of bogo from <coughs> 
A highlight of his career was the civic reception hosted in 2007 by the Tullamore Town Council, marking the union's first national conference in Tullamore. Our award winner is a former national president of Junior Chamber of Ireland. He was a keen Junior Chamber debater and twice won the All Ireland Public Speaking Competition, going on to win the European Public Speaking Final in Finland and was runner up in the World Final in Japan. As president of Junior Chamber Tullamore, he was hosting president for one of the first ever national conferences held in the British House Tullamore under the direction of Declan Coran. Our award recipient has maintained his interest in Tullamore and is a regular contributor to the Tullamore Lines Annual <coughs> and an occasional contributor to RPE's Sunday Miscellane. In 2023, he wrote a preface to the history of Irish Smiths. He also had an essay on Christmas in West Orkney featured in Christmas and the Irish. And Miss Eleni and his essay on journalist Mary Marr was selected for inclusion in the Sunday Miss Eleni Anthology. Keenly interested in history, he was invited to give the prestigious Constance Markovich annual lecture at the International Labour History Conference in Dublin last year. He is a committee member of Clay Club, a traditional Irish music and singers club, and was a member of the Tenter's 100 local history group. The Clay Club has even visited for band, and the club has featured on featured nights devoted to the music of Orkney. George Bowen, the 2023 Orkney Person of the Year Award recipient, and his partner Brian initiated outdoor coffee mornings in Oxford Square for local residents. Sadly, Ryan died suddenly in February 2021. 20, Offley and the tenters were united following the murder of Ashley Murphy, when our award recipient organised a vigil in Oxford Square in our memory, uh, which was attended by friends and neighbours from across Dublin. He was awarded a community award by the North Credit Union last year for his work in his adopted community. Our award winner is a director of Sophia Housing, a charity catching homelessness, and is a former director of the Equality Network Glen. During the marriage equality referendum, he worked full time on the Year of Equality campaign. In 2013, he won the inaugural Metro Area International Leadership Award in recognition of work for asylum seekers and refugees. Our 2023 Opti Person of the Year is a deserving recipient of the Illustrious Award for his achievements on the local, national, and international stage and its eternal love of all things related to the faithful county. Ladies and gentlemen, please be outstanding for our Opti 2023 Person of the Year, Shane Stewart. Thank you.